Hello, welcome back. Last time I pretty much finished up the potions and tokens sublevel. Uh, just have this secret room left to do as far as I can tell, and it seems to be a variation on this. Where I had to hold a gentry eye in place on a sleeping evil eye. Oops. And get rid of a brain. Okay. So looks like the difference here is, one, there's a roach. Two, the roach and gentry eye. Well, oh, the Roach, Gentry Eye, and Evil Eye all have to go on these pressure plates. And those are only opened by... okay, interesting. Alright, so... Um, first, let's try what I did before. This will be annoying with a Roach. If... Hmm. Yeah, that guy's gonna get in the way, like, really a lot. Uh, yeah, nothing about this works. Uh, okay, so, Roach. Roach, you're a problem. What's a good strategy for dealing with that? I wonder if I could... It'd be nice if I could get the roach, like, tangled up in the gentry eye chain or something. Uh, yeah, maybe I should think of this less as brain path manipulation and more as chain manipulation. Although chain is a brain visible obstacle, so things will just path around it if there's an open path. Uh... Let's see. If the roach weren't there, I could do something like that. Uh, my plan was a bad one. That didn't make any sense. But yeah, so these need to... And all three of those need to get on the stuff? Hmm. That gentry eye... Wants to make this difficult. Okay, so one thing I can deduce from this is that this must not be where the gentry eye goes. Uh, how do I even approach this? Like, this is just not of the same nature as the last puzzle, as far as I can tell, because of the roach. Because of the roach, I mean, I need enough time to turn all the way around, push this brain, push it all the way around there. This That takes a bunch of turns to do. So I, I can't just delay the roach a few turns and be able to handle this. Like, it needs to be fully stuck. So maybe a sensible thing to do would be... Uh, okay, so if I'm a gentry I had and I'm here, I'm a roach and I'm here, what does... I need to know something. And I'm going to go to the editor to find out. Um, this was a test of soldier turning preferences, just for fun, since it's here. Um, they, well, no, this, this doesn't, this doesn't matter. This is not relevant to what I'm doing here. <laughs> Soldiers turn weird, weirdly. Uh, they divide up the eight directions into cones, and, um, if it's directly behind, even if it's north they'll still turn the other way just because it's in the same cone. They don't care if it's north or south. Um, anyway, right, sorry. <laughs> I was not prepared to try to explain that. Uh, what was I here to test? Right, I wanted to see. So we got a Rochi there. A Gentry Eye, which is an object I've almost never even placed in the editor. I don't work with these things very often. He's all walled in, can't go anywhere. Here's a wall. Here's a brain. If a bee throw is here, roach goes around diagonal gentry eye chain. That's what I was trying to test. Okay, good to know. So if I want to trick him into... Um, what is the hold that I'm playing called? Collection. Uh, if I want to trick the roach into trying to brain path through something, it can only be the gentry eye head. Or the evil eye. So, the way a brain thinks, 
They prefer orthogonal to diagonal. If a gentry eye head is here and a roach is here, or here, that's fine as long as I'm south of this row, because the brain will always want to move the gentry eye into this position, where the sleeping evil eye is. But like, that's gonna be hard to set up if I really wanna do it that way. I'm not sure that I do. Uh. Right, so brainedness does mean that it's easier to get away from things sometimes. So that's good. Uh, who moves first? It is the roach. Okay, that's nice. That gets the roach out of my hair for a moment, but then it wakes up the evil eye. So if I do that in a different position, maybe? Yeah, roach wants to go through gentry eye head. Like a dummy, don't you know you can't do that? And now I'm in this position. This has not helped me. This is basically just the starting configuration. Huh. I'm not sure how to think about this puzzle yet. I'm kind of moving. Uh, no. hmm. Having to move two brained things at once with a stick is pretty hard. Could I do this a completely different way? Like have the... Hmm. I couldn't just outright block this passage with an evil eye while I'm in there, right? Why not? Uh, so suppose... I mean, like, there's a few reasons why that might be impossible, but I'm not convinced they're real reasons yet. Alright, so let's play this out. Suppose I were here facing north. No, suppose I were here facing northeast. I'd push the eye there, push him there, and that's no good. Uh, suppose I were here facing east. Push, push, get around, push that way. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, if you were to just cap that off completely, be a full obstacle like that. Okay, this could go somewhere. Yes. Gentry Eye stops being a pest for a moment. I would rather face this way, actually. Almost. If I had one more turn on the Gentry Eye, that could work. Let's see. Um, how would I get that? I want to face a different direction, though. Well, I mean, I can do stuff like... It's not exactly as helpful as I want it to be. So I want to, I want some... I want a gap between Bethro and every other monster. <laughs> Implying that Bethro himself is a monster. Uh, and I want him to be facing northeast at the same time. Like, I can almost do that. I just need that gap to open up somehow. Whoops! Don't do that, please. <laughs> so that can happen. <laughs> uh, that's just death, pretty much, right? Uh, not, not immediately. If I could just maintain a gap somehow. Like, what I could do is then shove this into place, probably be able to shove it back out of place. But these just don't let me in that configuration. Like, that sounds like a reasonable plan, doesn't it? Sounds good to me. 
I just can't get the facing that I want. Can I, like, chain this gentry eye up in a way that'll get it and the roach off of me for long enough? Close. E? Uh? Oh? No, not quite. And like, there's mm, there's definitely no way I can be bumping things out of the way like that, but I think I mm, feel like I'm on the right track here. Vaguely. Here we go. Here we go. I did it. Yay. Sounds good. You guys just dance around however you want. Can't bring the brain with me, right? That's not true. I can totally bring that brain with me. Watch. There could be a fourth pressure plate here. Wait, no, I can't because of that corner. <laughs> Otherwise, I could. Okay. Everybody's dumb. Uh, didn't think about what their positions would be. Couldn't really predict that particularly. Doesn't matter. You go there. Roach, um... You stay over there for a minute. I need to work with this chain chomp first. Uh, you, go go away. The gentry eye needs to go there. Not you. Right, and nobody's brained anymore. Uh, that's not what I want. Could this work somehow? No, here. Gentry eye is kind of sort of out of the way. I don't have time for this. Maybe I could uh, just move the roach to the other side of the chain and work with the gentry eye up here. Yes, that's promising. Yes, that's promising. Yes, that's what I want. There we go. No. So here's the problem with that. It's impossible to push him in and it's impossible to lure him in. So the gentry eye goes here. Got it? Don't know when I last stepped at a checkpoint. I don't trust anything, so I'm just gonna undo. Okay. I cannot survive that. I can survive this, yes. Uh, yes, still. Roach. No, I need the I need the other guy. Other guy, go in there. Roach kills me. Okay. Okay, everybody calm down. Gentry Eye, come with, come with me. Let's go on an adventure in here. Yay! Okay, I did it. <laughs> well, that was super cool. I liked that room. That was really neat. Uh, how do I put the roach in there? Yeah. oh uh, Perhaps I do it like... Th no, I can't do that. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. There we go. Wait, something's wrong. Evil Eye's not in his thing. Yes, get the sword back. And those are all opens, not toggles, so yeah! Cool! Ah, oh, I liked that! That was a super cool room! Man! That was like, maybe the best room in the hold so far. Awesome! <laughs> Alright, well I liked that, a lot. Uh, okay, so, um, here's my exit right now. I wonder if all the exit doors on all the portions of this level, all the exit stairs lead to the same place, or if those are going to be, like, layer two of the same thing, or something else. Because, like, I have seen two level clear gates, but I have to clear all of puzzle level to open that. Because this hold is structured an unusual way. I did that, I did the west one, let's do the east one, time clones! Oh! So that's not an ex- well, no, hang on. Did I see a level clear gate anywhere in here? I think I imagined it. There is no level clear gate in this part of puzzle level. Perhaps then this is the only one. Okay. Okay. Uh, I somehow interpreted this section as having a level clear gate. I don't know why. Because <laughs> it totally does not. Alright, so... 
Time clones are in the fortress portion of this. I need to convince a roach queen to... what? That lets her go this way. To die on the hot tile. Really? This hot tile? So if I just do this... She goes there. I can see how... Man, there are kids outside my window making a lot of noise. So if a time clone walks in there and just sits there for a while, what exactly does the queen do in response? Like, I know I can do that kind of dance, but then she's just stuck there. I have to, like, get ahead? Okay, so the time clone should go north then. Yes, certainly, because... Uh, because of stuff, you know. Um, let's just see what happens if I do this. Of course. Okay, so let's see. When would this start making sense? You'll go that way. What do I need to do to make this? Okay, so that. So, so she can't go there. So as a Roach Queen gets scared to the north, uh, the preference is to pay attention to time clones before Bethrow. So this, the north part will be more attractive. So the Roach Queen's gonna be in this area. Not gonna touch this row at all, probably. Uh, well, it depends on a lot of stuff. Various tiebreakers and things. So what's gonna happen here? When the real Bethrow steps here, the Roach Queen will be there. I want to juggle her. Okay, so... I'll step here. She'll be... Actually... Let's do this. I'm gonna leave you there for... a few moments. Step forward a little bit, step forward a little bit, step forward, step back, and I should be able to just make something work with that. Wait, no, this is not right. You need to be over there and then come back. Got it. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, wait, no, I was... You know, I'm not sure how to think of this. So, ultimately, the way she dies is that she sees a Bethro who is in the same column as her while she is in this column. It's going to have to be the time clone, so you will need to wait here for a bit, then go here or something? But obviously there's more... Okay, but that can never happen. So that's how to get her to wait there. Hmm, that's how to get her to move. Okay, so that's a useful tool. I can go here. Ah. Hey, time clone, go there. Uh, go there at a slightly different time. Can I hold... Let's see. Yes, I can. Um, no, wait. How did this work? I do that. I had something interesting going on. I do this and... No. I do this at what point? At this point? It needs to be... Before then. Okay. Right. I let the time clone scare her directly south. Then I re-scare... And then I step south. Well, well, you don't move. Okay, so you only need to go that far. Okay, cool. I understand. Uh, time clone's job is done. Wait, wait, wait. Step. 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 Oh, you need to wait around for a turn. Fair enough. <laughs> wait one turn. Wait, wait, wait. Step. 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 Done. That was cool. I enjoyed that. 
I had to do some reasoning. Second place! Hey, that's, um... Not something that's common to see. That requires a unique first place. And to get a score that's just slightly worse than it. Because if there's more than one... If there's, if there's a first place tie, you'll always get third place if you get even just one move slower than it. Um... Because the second place is actually first place, um, first place ties that are older than the first first place tie. Uh, all right, so I guess uh, this is a facing restriction. Got it. Interesting ornamental shape there. I like it. An adder with a stick. No thanks. I'd rather have a sword. Uh, wait, what are you doing? Why did you go straight north? I guess because I just didn't hang out. Wait, what? Yeah, you had vertical preference that whole time. So, okay. I'm unable to stab a north-moving adder with... Um, when I'm facing south, apparently. Actually, how do I stab... How do I stab an adder while facing orthogonally at all? Like, there must be a way. Because, like, stab is processed... To oh, no, this is not a rattlesnake. So a three-long adder got it. Okay, I understand the puzzle. I thought I could break it, but I could not. All right, so what I need to do is... Actually, what do I need to do? So that obviously will not do. No, how will this work? Time Clone can turn his sword, because Mimic doesn't respond to him. Got it. Uh, I would like to keep my sword. Or am I supposed to use the stick to push the Time Clone around to stab that thing? I don't want to do that. I would rather do it this way. So, Time Clone has the option of, um... Okay, so I should have done that at a different Serpent Cycle Time thing. Uh, so I should wait a couple of turns. So I want to be here when you move that way. Stab. And then... Wait, uh, wait, what? Oh, right. You did wait. No, you did that too early. What are you doing? Well, I guess you can just sit there. Sure. Okay. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay. So you just sit there. So I'll wait for that. Sit here. And the adder dies. Okay. Uh, I guess I was supposed to do that with the stick. Um, I didn't. <laughs> That's how I chose to do it. So, open-ended puzzle. What up with you? Why is that open? That force arrow can't ever be toggled. There's no, like, secrets here. Just, a, just an extra ornamental flourish. So, some kind of double time clone thing. Don't face your sword like that. I get no sword. Uh, except that's not true. I'm gonna get a sword because... Now I'm recording again. Now I have a sword. Okay, so this is... Alright. So, armed and disarmed input. Um, what kind of trickery is involved? Oh, and there's another disarm token. Why do I care about armedness? I guess I gotta stab this mud. Yes. Okay. So hold that to get in there. Now, what kind of thing is this? This is a northwest force arrow. Okay, so don't... Okay. Man, force arrows on tokens are incredibly hard to read sometimes. A time clone needs to hang out in here for a while. Somebody is going to have to stab... Okay, so I think the way this is going to play out is that I have to input mud fighting moves while disarmed and make sure they work well armed. That sounds fun. I like the idea of that thing is, though, am I not going to be armed when this happens? 
So hey you, why don't you just sit there for a while, and then... Uh, when the time clone has moved through here, then you transfer to there, I guess? Okay. And sit there for a while, I guess. Sure, why not? There's another token. So I'm recording. Disarmed. I'm recording armed. Uh, so you're going to be disarmed when this happens. There is some crazy sequencing stuff, but that rearms me. Well, this is confusing. So this is a recording, but I need the real B-throw at some point to go in here and do this. Did I want to just, like, discard one of those time tokens or something? Let's just pretend this... Actually, let me do this. Let me record both armed and disarmed inputs for this. So for the armed input, I've stabbed that mud. Mud babies are after me. I'm going to step forward. This one dies. This one moves here. That one's there. Stab this one. Uh, swing, stab. Okay, they're all dead in both timelines. The problem is, I think I'm not supposed to be recording right now. Because this exists. Uh, and I can't do that unless I'm... Wait, no, this is okay. So yeah, Beethro's gonna toggle armedness again. Alright, so we just need to do this as if... Oh, shoot. Which way am I facing is the question. <laughs> um, I am one more degree over in the clockwise direction. I have to make that move. Okay, so you're actually facing south. Hey, look, I can do that for extra confusion. Uh, I don't want to, though. Right. Uh, what does this do? Okay, great. Yeah, I don't think I need this time token. I think I can ignore that. So, wait, 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 wait. Um, oh. Armedness changes again. So you were armed when that happened. You're going to be dis... Wait, what? Okay, so... No matter what, when you step on that, you're going to toggle armedness. So if you were disarmed, you're now armed. Your sword is facing north-east. Okay. So sword's facing northeast. I stabbed the mud there. I stabbed the mud baby. I stab the mud, stab the mud baby, you'd go there, you'd go there. I'm just gonna face south and do that a couple of times, and that should be enough. And then, oh, there's nobody to step on this. Except for the real Beethro. Yeah, I mean, he can go in there, why not? Right? Should work. That will mean I step across this. Why doesn't he just hang out the here? Like, huh. I don't see any reason not to just sit here. Oh, um, okay, so I guess I need to... Hmm. Can I help you? Uh, okay, so... I think I can still make this work. I just want to toggle this one more time. Yeah, this should be fine. Uh-huh. Predict it correctly. Alright, I didn't use all the time tokens. I feel like I broke something. I didn't use this pressure plate either. Oh well. That's how I did the room. <laughs> still worked fine as a room, as, as I did it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, these are fun. 
Um, I'm gonna quit now, because I don't think I can get another room done in one minute. Uh, I'll look around next time, see what's waiting for me, and yeah, then just continue with time token puzzles. See you then!